Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday, October 1st. Here we go. A little bit of halacha about Mashiv Haruach Humorid Hagashem. You know that we switched over to saying those words, Mashiv Haruach Humorid Hagashem, in our Shmona Esrays, as of Shmini Atzeres. Now, hopefully you know that the law is that if you forget to say that Mashiv Haruach Humorid Hagashem, then you actually forgot to praise God the way he was supposed to be praised, and the Shmona Esrei would have to be repeated. And if you don't remember what you did, then you'd have to assume that you probably did what your old habit was, and you didn't say the Masiva Ruch, and therefore even, not only if you forgot, but if you don't remember what you did, you also have to assume that you probably didn't say Masiva Ruch, and therefore you would have to repeat the Shmona Esri. This is the rule until you get to 90 Shmona Esri's. Once you get to 90 Shmona Esri's, we assume that hopefully you've gotten most of them right, and you switched over to the proper habit. You could also hurry this up by saying it yourself 90 times, and then your habit kind of legalistically switches over to the new way. And then if you forget what you did, you could assume that you said the new habit, the new way, since you switched over your habit. But if you're wanting to rely on that, you should remember that you can't just repeat the words Mashiva Ruch Amor 90 times and say, my habit switched. You'd have to say it in a way such that it was attached to the words before, the way you would naturally say it in the course of a Shemona Esri. So you'd have to say 90 times the words before, Machaya Mesimata Rav Lahoshia, Mashiv Haruach Amor And then again, Machaya Mesimata Rav Lahoshia, Mashiv Haruach Amor And then you could assume that your habit is switching over after 90 of that because you've said them all together and your smooth saying of Shalom Esri will continue to have it come off that way out of your lips. So that's the way to legalistically switch over your habit. Okay, um, and some people say that you should do that 101 times, not 90 times, in order to make it really sure. And one more piece of good news. If you're one of those people that said Morid Hatal over the summer, then your switchover was a switchover from Morid Hatal into Mashiv Aruch Morid Agashem, you guys don't have to ever repeat Shon Esri for this piece of the year because Morid Hatal was your old habit, and if you forgot and did your old habit, you just barely squeaked it through because Morid Atal was a good enough praise of God. It is still a praise of God. So those who were saying Morid Atal in the summer won't have to repeat the Shon Esri if they forgot what they did because Morid Atal, after the fact, is a good enough praise such that the Shon Esri will not need to be repeated. That might have sounded complicated. If you need any clarification, please speak to any good, competent Orthodox rabbi. But I just want you to know the basics. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more of Papa.